Welcome back to another episode of Pantry Free, my fellow friends. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. Uh, we're out exploring a little bit. We've been doing a little bit of grindy work here. You can see we've been picking up some stuff. I found out uh, that you can actually pick up some of the plants. And these make medical kits, which is really cool, just in case we get hit or hurt. So far, the threats have been pretty minimal, uh, other than, I don't know, I haven't engaged a creature yet, but I imagine they probably do some damage. So yeah, we're just kind of out exploring. I'm going to show you where we are. We're outside of the red zone. Our base area is kind of over this way. Uh, so I'm just kind of exploring and trying to see what we can find. I'm looking for different types of resources. So far, I haven't really found much. There's 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 a creature right there. <laughs> I'm going to stay away from him. Uh, mostly, I'm trying to get a lot of coal because we need that for the generators and also for the smeltery. And I want to progress a bunch today. I'm, my goal is basically to tech up and see how far we can get. I don't know if we can hit, say, like the first level of mechs or any kind of automation, but it sure would be nice to get into a vehicle. I think we're a little bit ways off from there. Also, I want to look into uh, seeing uh, if we can do any missions because there is jobs and things like that available. Uh, so I want to get that out of the way today. And yeah, just continue to explore uh, the world of Pantropy, which is really exciting. Wow, there's some pretty cool stuff over here. So other than that, yeah, the guys have been busy. Uh, I haven't had a chance to hook up with them yet. Uh, hopefully that'll happen soonish. I've been away for a little bit, uh, as usual, the weekends. I was doing some sailing, which is what I do every other Sunday uh, in preparation. Yeah, so this is the plan here. Sorry, I got to distract myself from my talking. If we hold down E on it, we start harvesting these fruits. And you get a bunch really quickly. Hi, there it is, two. And uh, yeah, then we can craft up health kits. So I'm going to grab these as I see them. Blamo. So yeah, Sundays I usually am sailing. It was cold day, man. It was uh, minus two degrees Celsius. And oh, somebody's amazing base over here. I'm hoping I'm not spoiling too much, but that is pretty cool. I'm going to stay away from that base just in case there's automated defenses that will kick my butt. I don't know whose base it is. So could be somebody's friendlies, could be somebody's not so friendlies. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to head back. Ooh, what was that? That was like a, felt like it was metal. Hello? Phew. Okay, let's find it now. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Ugh. Yeah, I can't find it. Anyways, yeah, so it was a beautiful day. We, we did some uh, practicing. Uh, a lot of wind. Oh my goodness, a lot of wind. 26 knots was our peak, which is about 52 kilometers an hour, which is a lot of wind. It's uh, We had a gale warning uh, the day before. So it was it was fun. We were we were reefed up, which if you're into sailing or understand anything about sailing, we had a double reefed main, which means that we make the big sail really small. And then we had a number three jib out, which is a smaller version of the, the front sail, the headsail. And that was down a lot. So it was pretty cool. It was fun. It was, uh, I got to drive a little bit. Uh, we, uh, I am a main trimmer. That's my job for the races. But I got to drive and it was pretty gnarly, I have to say. Big waves, lots of wind and lots of fun. So anyways, yeah, that was what I was doing this weekend. And I'm only saying that because we have a long way to walk back to base. And uh, <laughs> I'm going to, I want to check out this little thing over here before we go. Hopefully, I think, is that a, okay, we're in the red zone now, so that's, I, I, that must be somebody else's turret, or one of those auto turrets. So yeah, anyways, I'm excited to keep going here, so let me just do a little bit of walking, and then we'll get back to base, and we'll see what's going down. Some of these bases floating in the middle of the space. Alright, we're back at base, and I'm just in the crafting station, I'm taking a look at some of the new things we can make. So here, if we take this, it's a, a wow, that was loud. <laughs> we have a simple projectile weapon, it's a nail gun. I think I'll go ahead and craft this. Doesn't take a lot, so let's go ahead and craft that up. Uh, down here we have a basic mining tool. This tool not only allows you to gather more ore in less time, but you also got, gather gold ore and titanium ore with it. That sounds interesting because I think we're going to need that to continue uh, developing our our uh, base, basically, and our other items. Here we got nail gun ammo. I don't know. Grab nail, nail gun projectiles. I don't, I don't know. Craft. Um, two, let's just go ahead and craft five, I guess. Pretty expensive stuff, so we'll see how many shots we get with that. Fire bricks, here we go. Can withstand high temperatures used for furnaces and generators. Okay, uh, fire bricks. Requires feldspar. Okay, well, let's try some of this. Let's make five of those. And then steel, using many crafting recipes. Well, that's cool, so let's go ahead and craft five of those bam and we'll just see what happens so i haven't found any oil yet and these just looks like there's all kinds of like synthetic things we can make new pieces and bits and bops uh yeah so after that like 
other than walls and things like that, I'm looking down the list of crafting thingamabobbers, and that's really loud. This guy right here, for example, the basic drone requires gold, pig iron, and titanium. So these are the two resources we're missing. So based on the crafting station and this item right here, which we've just crafted here, this mining a gun, we should be able to... Well, we'll see. We'll, we'll we'll see what happens. So, wow, those are expensive. We got five shots. Do I just click in here? How do, how do I reload it? It probably just comes out of my inventory. Uh, so let's go ahead and just see here. Uh, let's check out number four. Okay, reload. Okay, R for reload. Okay, yeah, that's a thing. So we got 17 shots. We have 25 total. So it is pretty expensive, so we got to be mindful of that. Let's go check out this mining laser. I'm really curious to see how well this does. We have a couple bits of resources just nearby our base. And we'll see if we can get anything else other than the standard stuff. So let's see. Right click. Sorry, left click. Yeah. Holy cow. That's really fast. And it's also very loud. Oh my gosh. I got to turn that down. <laughs> Options. Audio. Uh, sound effects volume. Thank you. Let's turn that down. That's really low now. <laughs> it's like it's like one extreme or the other. Okay, let's go like that. Try that out. Yeah, okay, that's uh, that's a heck of a lot faster, I have to admit. And we're getting more resources, so that's pretty amazing. I want to find... Let's finish this one up here. I want to find one that is like our standard metal one, because apparently we can get gold or something from it, which would be amazing to get into the next level of guns and doohickeys. All right, here's a here's a normal... No, let's check this out here. Okay, feldspar, iron. We're we getting anything else? I'm not seeing anything. No. Nope. We're not getting any copper out of this one, so that leads me to believe this might not be the right one. So we might have to venture far out to find the more rare resources, which would make sense. Like, you have your base, the resources that are closest to base will probably be the generic stuff, and then you're going to have to risk going out. Again, I've been avoiding watching people's videos, so I don't really know where everything is. Let's check this out. Copper ore, yeah, feldspar, copper ore, yeah, 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 yeah. So this is, these are definitely only going to give us, there's like iron ore, copper ore, base nodes, and they give us a bit of coal and a bit of feldspar with that. So I assume we've got to find, right, that's that furnace. We've got to find a specific gold node. And can I like, can I create a marker? I don't think I can mark the, the thingamabobber. But let's just walk. I'm going to walk this way. I'm going to go off on a little adventure. And we're going to see if we can find some of this titanium and gold resources. Can I mine you now? No, still can't mine you. Random rock. I'm laying up on what looks to be an MPC base over here, and I'm just over on the edge of the map. I'm a little nervous, actually, so I'm going to bring out my gun here. I don't know if there's, like, turrets or anything. I don't know if I'm going to die. I don't even know what happens when you die in this game. Are we okay here? I, I'm going to be very careful. I don't know. Because this looks different. These are not player bases. They, look, they have a different kind of structural thing. Let's peek around the corner. Ooh, what's that? Is that a gun? Is that going to shoot me? Hi. Hi. What are you? You're just like a random gun just placed there? Okay. <laughs> uh, hello? Oh, crates. Oh. Oh. What's this stuff? Eat access. Oh my gosh. What's in this thing here? LMG turret? Okay. Yes. A tomahawk? What? Triple wrap? Oh my gosh. There's like some serious loot in here. Crazy. What's in here? Uh, repair kit? Okay. Wow. Encrypted data storage rare. Research. Oh my gosh. We got some research already? Ooh, we got to get back to base. Uh, some more research. Low quality research. An assault rifle with ammunition or no ammunition. Oh, this is so cool, man. Ah. So basically, looting is like the name of the game here, man. So does this stuff despawn? It probably refreshes. I assume you come in, you loot, and then you leave. Wow. Am I, I feel like... Am I heavy? I think I'm heavy. I feel like I'm running slower. Anyways, I'm running back to base. Because we've got some stuff to put in the research thing. So that's really cool. So now I know where there's some, some research items. See, you learn something new every day, folks. This is amazing. Let's find out what we got. I think we even have a vehicle, too. Uh, I don't know how it works, but we'll find out. All right, we are back at base. I'm just trying out this electrical smelter. I'm going to make this sucker here. Um, I want to also see, is there any other... Oh, there is. Is there... No. 
trying to think if there's any other power situation. Oh, by the way, we've got our research. We've got enough coal to run the generator now. I don't want to waste it too much. So apparently here, this is how we research things. Okay, so encrypted data storage rare. Research in the research station to discover new knowledge. So this one's going to give us... Okay, so we have a chance here. So 100% chance to research heavy armor or heavy helmet. 50... I assume this is the chance, success chance. Okay, so let's go ahead and click here. Successfully researched. Oh, my risk computer. Oh, I didn't even notice this. Risk computer. I wonder what this this does here. Very cool. Select this data set in your toolbar and left click to learn it. <clears throat> okay. Toolbar. And left click to learn it. Select this data set in your toolbar. This is my toolbar, isn't it? Okay, well, we'll leave that for a second. Let's 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 learn this one as well here. Uh, military tech. Okay, so we can go ahead and learn this one for sure, 100%. All right. Uh, and then let's go and see here. Can I do this? Select this data set in your toolbar. Okay. Okay. Left click. Aha. All right, so that seems to have con consumed it. And allows us to now make it, I guess. So if we were to come over here, for example, we see armor, armor. Yes, here it is, right here, uh, and heavy armor set right there. Bam. Okay, so depleted uranium. Okay, very cool. So there it makes sense. We we have to. We are going to have to do a lot of research. What's this stuff? Search weapons, people, guns. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so there we go. We got that's how research works. You got to go raid bases and stuff. Now, also, we picked up some of these things. I'm just going to toss these in here for now because I don't really have a purpose for them. And we got this generator, or sorry, electrical furnace. I like to make that because it doesn't use coal, which I think is probably going to be better for us, maybe because we don't have to waste coal smelting, and then we can just put coal in the generator. Uh, and maybe there's other types of generation. Maybe there's solar power or gas power or something like that, which is really cool. So let's go ahead and toss in the ores like a so. Yeah, so it looks like it's powered automatically by the generator within a certain range, and it automatically generates things. That is fantastic. Uh, that way we're not wasting, like I said, the coal resource. We keep that for other things like steel and powering the generator because this does this does burn stuff quickly. <laughs> that that's a that's a fact. All right, let's take a look at this thing here. What does this do? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So this is a pad of some sort. Uh, does it click onto something? The interesting. It's like it's like a. I don't know. It's like a pad, like a pad pad. I don't know. Our base is too small, man. We gotta we're gonna have to make more base pieces. I'm not sure. So it seems like he's got full hit points. I don't know. How you break stuff down? Uh, let's let's. Can I deselect? Go to nothing here. Can you even is it possible to pick up stuff? I still haven't figured that out. Because uh, that would that would be amazing. It kind of sucks if you can't because then you're kind of stuck with what you have, which is not always your intent, right? You don't always want it to look the way it does. So let's go ahead and let me think here. Yeah, let's go ahead and we'll clip these in. I get it to snap here. There we go. One more over here, like a so. We'll just build out underneath. Okay, let's make sure that's there. And I don't know where I built that just now. Hopefully it's somewhere good. <laughs> Otherwise we're in trouble. And there. Okay, that looks good. And let's see if we can plop this down over here. I'm not sure if it's got like a clipping. It's so weird. So massive. All right, I don't think we can build it just yet. So let's go ahead and place down some more of these foundations. Hi. I'd like to place you. Thanks. You there. You there. You there. Can I jump on this thing yet? <laughs> Not quite. Uh, and I guess right there and right there. Cool. <laughs> and one there. <laughs> and one there. <laughs> I think we need a door or something. Let's see. Let me see if I can actually replace this here with a doorway. So let's craft up this guy right here. Craft one. Crafting is slow in this game. That is definitely a thing. 
Uh, like that. And let's see. Can I put that? Can I shift click? Demo. That's the thing I just I don't understand. Do not know how we demo stuff. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, well, let's put that there. And we can put a ramp. Yeah, it sucks, though. I want to get rid of this thing. No, like, E or F or... Tab. My bases. Select a base. I don't... I haven't claimed a base, so it's not... There's nothing here. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, let's try making some ramps up to this thing. It's so bad. Gus got to help me help, man. Craft that many of those guys. We'll see if we can get up to the actual floor here. It's so bizarre. So bizarre. Is there, is there uh, oh wait, can we mine it? Let's see here, maybe we can mine this thing. No, no, can we hit it? No, it doesn't do any damage. No, I can't hold on it with a blank hand. I can't do anything. There's no options. Hmm. So that's a bit of a problem. <laughs> Okay, so do we have it? We almost have it here. We got it all, right? All right. I'm trying to get this thing placed. I want to see what this thing does, man. This tomahawk thing of a bobber. Okay, so this is okay. That's cool. Can I put it down here? Oh. Okay. Can I at least jump up there? I think I can get up there. I think I can. I think I can. Get up there. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Face is so ugly. <laughs> Uh, for a base builder, it sucks. Okay, so this is just like... Rotate it? No, I can't even rotate it. Alright, let's just put it down here. Ah! What? What the heck is this? Um... Hello? Did I get something I wasn't supposed to get? Huh. This is interesting. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I guess I should have looked at what it was before I placed it down. Anyways, it's a blueprint something or other. Hmm. And I can't access it in any way, shape, or form. Oh, it says, does Tomahawk 500%? Yeah, see, it's it's got nothing. It's no clips or anything. Interesting. It's probably a little... It's probably something that slipped through the cracks in the development. <laughs> oh, I was so sad. I, I was hoping for something big. All right, folks, we have managed to get ourselves enough resources to make this scout mech. I'm going to go ahead and craft this thing right now, and we're going to test this out. I've got this turret, and I managed to place down, unfortunately, I managed to pla place down this object over here. I don't know what it is. I guess I should have read it before. Oh, wait. Oh, it's working now. What? I'm so confused. I'm so confused. That's so weird. It was broken just a minute ago. And now it's working. Let's enter the pilot seat. Can I, can I enter the pilot seat? What is this? No, I can't. There we go. Open storage. Uh, I don't want it. I don't want it. Need to get in. Okay. Set a new password. One, two, three, four. The password. Ah. Oh my gosh. Oh baby. Oh baby. Okay. Okay. Uh, need it. Why to activate? Uh, okay. Uh, how do I fly it? Activated power. It's not powered. Oh, it doesn't have a gyro either. Okay, can I get out of this thing now? Okay, no sh no tools, no no weapons. Um, E, I want out. Oh, what? Basic drone? What's this? So confused. I'm so confused. What are we doing? We're rotating it? Okay, oh boy. Okay, we're rotating it. I'm not sure what's going on. Let me out! Let me out! How do I get out of this thing? Uh, hmm. We're stuck. Crap! Wait, wait. I can't look around. There's no, there's no controls. Okay, let's look at controls here. <laughs> um, options? Nope. Controls. Alright, here we go. Sprint, craft, chat, fire, aim, reload, interact, E. Space, jump, crouch, sprint. Left it back. Aha, here we go. Rotate base element, snapping, binocular. Ah, wow. Change view, activate vehicle Y, shield G, stealth mode T, get out of vehicle X. Aha. 
Wow. Interesting. Okay, so we do have a vehicle, but it's not powered. Is there like... Can I look at different parts of this thing? Is there like a spot to jam something into its butt? Hmm. Thing. Anyways. <laughs> That's so cool! Right, so we, we, we were making a scout mech. I just, I've, this game is, um, it's, I'm a little confused. Okay, so let's try this sucker out here. Okay, I see how this works now. Uh-huh, so we're going to place this down. Okay. And it's going to be here for a little while. And I guess it takes a little bit of time to make, ah, okay. So I didn't see that the first time. I see, I placed down that thing. And it takes time it takes time to craft. All oh, right, that's cool. That's probably, I'm gonna guess that's a mechanic, uh, anti-spam mechanic somehow. Uh, okay, oh, the other thing is, while we were looking at the controls, let's, we've been having trouble picking stuff up. Let's look here, stealth mode, roll left, uh, binocular light, B, L, N, V, change view. Do I have a view? Oh, can't change view here. Okay. Options, controls. Rotate base element, use snapping grid, binocular, change view, activate, get out of vehicle, roll, 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 invert mouse, special, general, reload, interact, aim, fire, chat, crafting, C, inventory, run, jump, 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 yeah, so I can't, any, no interaction once we get there. So, that being said, we can enter the pilot seat, is there anything else we can do to this thing? Hmm. We'll see here. Is our is our oh look at our scout mech? Oh baby, check it out. We've got our very first scout mech. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, it looks really good too. Wow, green shot. <laughs> cool man. So let's see here. I don't want to set a password. Go away. Go away. Okay, so enter the pilot seat. Hold E to open storage. Okay. Uh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Hold E to open storage. Ah. Okay. This is how we do it. All right. So, check it out. So, we've got a skeleton mech. It's missing an energy cell. We have those. It has no weapons. It has no ammo. And it looks like we can put in four energy cells. So, let's go grab an energy cell that we made over here. And let's try this sucker out. E to access. Here's an energy cell. Okay. I don't know how to recharge these yet. That's a thing that we're going to have to figure out. Okay. Hold E. Hold E. Okay. Okay. Huh. Okay, now it says is powered. All right, so let's go E to get in. Okay, nice. Y to activate. Uh-huh. <gasps> oh, this is cool. It's consumed a basic energy cell. Nice. Can we shoot? Oh, we can't do anything yet because we can't see. Uh, was it V? To oh, yeah. Check it out. Ooh, there's third person. Oh, and we can sprint. All right, all right, all right. Oh, this is cool. This is, this is, it's basic. It has no weapons, but it's, it's nice. I think if we could get it faster, it'd be great. It's a little slow, but you know, it's our very first mech. Uh-huh. Oh, I like it. I wonder if we can equip like a mining laser or something to this. That'd be really cool. And we wouldn't even have to get out of our thing. All right, so where's our energy? Weapons or tools? Oh, it does say tools there. I didn't even notice that. So yes, we probably can equip a mining laser to this thing. Uh, let's go and... Okay, this is where it's dumb, right? What is it? X to get out? Okay, I don't know why they change it. Uh, so let's hold E to open the storage. Can I put this in here? Wait, ammo. Weapon. I don't know if that's going to work or not. Oh, technology model. Torso arm. Whoa, look at all this stuff. It's got storage as well. Did that work? Did I, did I just put a gun on here? I think so. I don't think that's a thing. No, I think we have to, I think we have to make a purpose made gun. Now the question is, did I lose that? No. Okay, so that's, that's probably a bug that they have to fix. Cause you wouldn't want, you wouldn't want to, um, you wouldn't want uh, people to just like lose something in there or something. Crafting, the whoa, what's going on here? Woo! And sprinting, yeah, okay, so let's see if we can get an item on here. I don't even know if we have the technology available to us. Let's do that real quick, let's go out X and get in. So that means that with that other jet, we can also look at putting in a battery pack. So let's go ahead and craft 
Uh, let's uh, craft a bunch of those just because we're going to need them. But let's see here. Do we have anything scout-like that we can put on this is a repair basic mining tool? I might not even have the details as to how to do this. Standard rocket, basic drone, uh, tier 3 scout mech we made. Let's see, is there any scout mech machine gun? Okay, can we search scout? Let's see here. Scout mech mining laser. Aha! Ah, okay, so we need copper and a lot of pig iron. But we can make a scout mining laser. Woohoo, let's uh, let's uh, do that. Actually, I think we might even have enough stuff here in our smeltery. Let's check this out. Oh, we can. Let's make that. Craft now. Very nice. Okay, so what did we what did we craft? We got the energy cells. So we'll take those and those and those. Fantastic. What's this here? Is this already done? Aha. Uh -huh. All right. Oh man, this game is so amazing. Okay, let's uh let's put that in the inventory. I don't need that. Where's our scout mech? Oh baby. It'd be cool to get some guns on this thing too. Alright, do this. And let's see here. So we can grab this and we can put this here. Install. Okay, so it takes five seconds to install it. Very neat. Everything's got some timing. That's probably some anti-spam stuff. Does it show up? Is that it right there? I think that's it, isn't it? Yep, there it is. Mining laser. Oh baby. Let's go check this out now. Uh-huh, it's got a little cursor. How far away do we have to be? Uh, mining laser poor. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Wait, wait, wait. The poor mining laser. Are we getting any resources? Can't tell. Heating up. Then it has to cool down. Okay. So if I if I was to get out of here, I'm gonna go look at the storage here. Hmm. I actually not. I don't think we're mining anything, are we? I can't shoot right now, it's too hot, it looks like. Does it cool down all the way? This is all science, folks. Okay, let's let it go all the way down the bottom here. Okay. Uh-huh. I'm not sure if it's actually hitting it or not. Let's go try out this rock over here. Maybe it was just the rock. <laughs> Mining laser poor. Oh, there we go. Okay, so that's working. So... I don't know that it's, I'm not sure that it's any better than, let's look at my inventory. Is this going, where is this inventory going into? Okay, so it's actually going into the next storage. Okay, that's cool. Uh, it's okay, like I think there's probably room for upgrading. But the nice thing about this is we can run around probably a little faster than we can do on foot. And then we can just go ahead and mine stuff like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. All right, all right, I like it. So we could put a machine gun on here as well if we wanted to attack some other things. Very, very cool. Well, I think that's probably going to be it for today's episode. I know we got the little jetty thing. We're going to take a look at that in the next episode. I think we'll just end off with this guy here. I like the fact that we've uh, upgraded a little bit and gotten ourselves a scout mech and, and done some research and learned how the game works a bit more. Anyways, if you guys like this video, make sure you bang on the like button down below. Crash that subscribe button. And as always, I'd love to hear from you in the comments down below. My name is Crash. Out.